How are y'all, Worm here? Speculation regarding Xenos and the upcoming melee DPS has jumped into a new gear, thanks in part to revelations from the main scenario quest in patch 5.5. Let's take a look at what we learned, and I'll also outline my main theories. Before we start, fair warning, there are some spoilers ahead from the main story, specifically around Xenos, but I'll try to focus only on the Xenos aspects as much as I can. So, let's get to it. We see Xenos in the Imperial Palace in Garlemalt, surrounded by a number of weapons which Fandaniel likely conjured or procured for him to choose from. Like in the trailer beforehand, we see him pick up the katana, a signature weapon for him up until this point, but that's only for a brief moment until he discards it in style. After he and Fandaniel have their discussion regarding the events of the main story, Fandaniel then states, while I appreciate that it is not an easy decision, it really is past time you chose your weapon. Xenos then strides towards the weapon he's been meaning to test, and we get a couple of hints here. I watched this scene dozens and dozens of times, following every angle. I examined it very closely and the devs were very careful not to show off this mystery weapon. But let me share the first theory with you before we go on. The fact that they have put so much focus in mystery around Xenos choosing a new weapon only adds weight to the theory that his selection of weapon will be the one for the upcoming melee DPS, thus why they have been very careful not to have it shown. Now then, back to the scene. As Xenos approaches his weapon, Van Daniel utters, Well, well, not quite what I was expecting, though I will say. It does seem rather apt. Then Xenos takes a hold of his weapon of choice and then we fade to black. But this is where the second hint lies. We don't see him draw the weapon, but we do see his stance when he grips it, using the same movements he did when he picked up the katana earlier. Now, this could just be reused modelling. It would make a lot of sense, but I think it just gives us a hint as to its style. Now the second and most important hint in this scene is the sound. Most would actually ignore this fact, but this is an important one as it rules out some weapon candidates. Based on the sound, it's a bladed weapon, but the sound was different from when he picked up the katana. Have another listen to both of them. The sound this weapon makes due to its friction on the stone floor is interesting. I close my eyes and listen to this over and over and over again, letting my imagination build framework of what weapon would make such a sound. I've been playing games for a very long time, and to me this sounds like a long bladed weapon. That sound you hear is the resonance of the blade itself as it runs across the floor's hard surface. A lighter blade would make a very different sound when dragged across such a surface. I've concluded, based on what we have so far, that his weapon is a bladed weapon, larger than the katana, but it's also heavier and with a denser material. Based on the other evidence we have on this subject, based on the Endwalker teaser trailer, my guess is the weapon he picked up is a scythe. I did a video recently on why I think it would be a scythe, and that the new melee DPS is also likely a scythe wheeler, and to me this only enforces that theory. But everyone, I want to know what you think. When you first saw this scene, what mental image did you conjure in your mind when Xenos drew this new weapon? Leave a comment below and let your voice be heard. The FF14 community loves theories and ideas about this stuff, myself included. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, check out my channel. Also, feel free to subscribe if you want to see my upcoming videos. Thanks all, and as always, have a good one.